We are at the 18th annual Breckenridge um, International Snow Sculpture Championships. We have 16 teams from around the world representing nine countries. We have teams from as far as China, we have Spain, Lithuania, we have some warmer climate teams from Mexico, um, and then we have teams from all the way up north, um, Canada, Yukon. So all different climates, all different cultures here in one place, and they've been here for five days sculpting. All around the world we've been to like Russia, China, Japan, France, Italy, Breckenridge, stellar. It's like, it's right up, it, it, if, if it isn't number one, it's right close. We don't really have a lot to do with building the blocks. When we get here, it's here. What we have to do is get rid of all the snow that doesn't belong. They're 12 foot tall, 20 ton blocks of snow. The Breckenridge Ski Resort comes out and helps us make all the snow. That's why it's pure white, beautiful white snow, not snow taken off the street. Um, so a lot of man hours go into creating that big of a block of snow. We've never done a piece like this before, which is hollowing out the inside. Usually we just come in and just chop away with our chisels and go crazy and the piece forms. This way we had to go in and find the Eskimo shaman in the middle of it. Breckenridge has treated us very well and this is the best field of sculptures I've ever been a part of. Making uh, an 11 or 12 foot tall person out of snow, you know, in a couple days, it's the only medium I know where you can do it in a couple days. A lot of different variety, a lot, a lot of detail, and a lot of hours spent creating these art forms. China is incredible. They got super artistic and just the detailing of this man on horseback and the trees in the background is beautiful. The quality of the sculptures are amazing. Breckenridge rocks.